Hi folks, we're back. Beer reviews with Kyle. Beer reviews with Kyle. And I've got one here that is lived up. This is so hyped. It's from a great brewery that I love and respect. A lot of people are saying you don't I don't credit this brewery enough. I I haven't had a lot from them. Uh to be honest. This is the Jackie O's. Jackie O's Brewery. Coffee Bourbon Barrel. Uh Oil of Aperdeed Stout. Oil of Aperdeed Stout. This is getting 4.5 reviews on Untapped. Uh, this could be the best beer in the state of Ohio, from what I've read from. And Jackie O's is awesome. That Car Charmolin's Flame of the Night review might have been one of the top two or three beers I've ever drank. Unbelievable. Uh, this is a beer from the Jackie O's Brewing Company. Uh, Jackie O's is awesome. Uh, they were rated number one beer, brewery in Ohio and the number one beer. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get this going. This is a coffee bourbon barrel stout. It says, stout beverage brewed with walnuts and aged in bourbon barrels with coffee added. There's a lot of ingredients in this beer. I'm interested to see how good this is. I've let it warm for about 15, 20 minutes. It was not in the freezer. Expensive. That's a 12-ounce bottle that was uh, $12.99. Avery prices. Uh, here we go. It says here, oil of Aperdeed is an American double stout brew with locally harvested black walnuts and Belgian candied syrup. English, German, American, and Belgian malts are accompanied by Pacific Northwest hops, creating a sweet, rich springboard for deep nuttiness. This style was aged in bourbon barrels for 8 to 12 months, creating an amazing brew worthy of godness and gods alike. A considerable amount of carefully, ro carefully roasted coffee beans were added to awaken one's senses. A beer passionately created to transcend your glass and provide a truly memorable experience now that is a lot i mean i i you know we've had beers with flavors we're gonna try this jack yours is great i've said it uh, i've only had a few of their beers this is my first jack yours review sometimes i've had the beers from a lot of other brews that put in so many flavors that they just they don't mesh well this is a lot you got walnuts coffee hops malts barrel aged you've got five or six different flavors in here this is a lot for a single brew, and this is a 12-ounce bottle, so uh, Jack Yours was great. Let's get a, get the top up here and get another aroma. This is not a, this was a big boy, uh, expensive. It's our Jack Yours Brewery Company bottle cap there. Nice logo of the artwork. Hey, Athens, Ohio, too. Very cool. Over you. Scenic town, awesome. Been to Athens. Uh, the brew pub about a, two or three blocks from Pedden Stadium and the uh, campus of the great Ohio University. So just a cool area. Now, let's get a pour, and... Uh, I oh, miss. I have some Jackie O's glassware from a pint night, Thanksgiving Eve, many years ago, three or four years ago, with a great friend Lance and Tina, who I no longer talk to. Uh, but let's get the pour here. Uh, you know, I want to. The ABV on this, before I pour it in here, is 12.1% alcohol by volume. 12.1. This is 12.7 fluid ounces. 12.1% alcohol by volume. On this, I'm not even gonna pour the whole bottle. I'm gonna pour. Look how dark that is. I, I, I probably should not have used this glass uh, with all the logo. You can't really see the color. Uh, let's go ahead and get an aroma on it. Good head. Oh my! I, yeah, <laughs> interesting. I'm telling you right now, a lot of bourbon. Uh, the bourbon barrel age, you get a lot of bourbon with the pour. A lot of bourbon in this. Uh, get a quick sniff. Uh. I almost get, yeah, I almost get some walnuts, yeah. There's a walnut flavor in there as well. Some deep malts. Uh, no real coffee flavor. And I was reading a couple of reviews that the coffee is very subtle in this. And that's what I was saying. Is that this many flavors, I don't care who the brewery, it's really difficult to, you know, detect all of it. I'm sure it's in there. And some brewers want to put that in there. They want to just intend this just to, you know, a, a touch or a hint. Uh, me, though, I've always... I've always barked on the side, if you're going to put something in a beer, make it noticeable. I've had so many breweries, before I sip this one, I want this cool bit. So many breweries where they said they put in, the, the biggest thing this year, pumpkin beers. Ten on the table, eight of them, I get no pumpkin. Seven, eight of them, I get no pumpkin, none. I mean, not even a touch. It's, it's more cinnamon, spice, or just, this amber ale with no spice. <laughs> you know, Ballast Point had no, had nothing. They didn't even have spice. It was just a, a red amber. Uh, so this one... Bourbon and walnut, more bourbon than anything. Hints of walnut. Uh, let's say cheers to the cheers to the boys at uh, Jackie O's Brewing Company. They are one of the best uh, in the state, and 
he's a great man. Uh, they make some killer kick-ass brews, and hopefully this lives up to the hype. I mean, the hype I was reading, you know, I saw it. I'm like, you gotta, I gotta get this. Uh, you know, the regular oil purification, I've had that. And this is that was not even barely from one ounce of coffee. That was just, that was still an ass kicker beer. I mean, it was an A beer as well. So if it's anything like that, we're in for a good treat. So let's say cheers to Jack ears and cheers to enjoying your Friday night. Here we go. Wow. Uh -huh. That is lovely. Ah. Uh, that is lovely. Ah, uh, so smooth. My goodness. I mean, that almost tastes like a night for a beer. My goodness. I get... There's no... I don't get... I get no coffee. No coffee, but I don't care. That's excellent. My goodness. I'm going to top that. My goodness, is that good. Oh. It's not overly bourbon either. Ah. Uh, it's definitely a sipper. Uh, but for 12-1, I mean, again, we're seeing... Uh, this is the third or fourth beer in this week that's in the double digits where it's drinking like a, a 5%. It's apple ale. My goodness. Uh, not much in the way of coffee, but a good walnut flavor, good bourbon flavor. This is really good. Uh, you could definitely taste the bourbon. Uh, another sip of this. Wow. Okay. It's interesting because this has a bourbon taste up front. Uh, I just got a last sip there. The walnut finish is awesome. I love walnuts. Uh, uh, man. Yeah, it's an A beer. It's really it's interesting. It's very good. Uh, I don't know if it's the best that I've had. Uh, I think the Charm and Flame was better because I like the red ale. I just I don't get any coffee in this. I don't know if it was just a tint of coffee. But uh, this is really good. Um... Uh, Really, really a good beer. My goodness. Uh, excellent coffee. Uh, excellent uh, walnut flavor. Bourbon barrel flavoring. Uh, I, I get no coffee. I, I'm gone. I mean, I don't know. That's really... And I'm sure, like I said, it's really... And that's nothing to do with the brewer. I just think there's really just too much flavors. There's put coffee in the mash in the brew kettle. They just... Sometimes you just... We were talking about... I was trying to brew. But sometimes you just put too many flavors in and they just don't interact. That's excellent. That is bourbon. That's a good chocolate stout. It's like a bourbon up front. It hits your lips. And then it's like a the chocolate stout takes over with the roasted malts. And then it's in a walnut finish. That's excellent. My goodness. <laughs> this is a lovely, lovely, excellent beer, folks. Definitely a sipper. Ah, uh, there you go. Drink this beer, folks. Uh, life's too short. A-plus beer. I said it's an A-plus. My goodness. Coffee or not, they did a great job in crafting this, aging it. Uh, a good one up flavor the bourbons there, but again, I don't, I don't think the bourbon's overpowering. There's definitely bourbon in the beer. It's there. It's flavored. It seems like the only person over over bourbons or beer is El, is uh, El Tech Lucky Bourbon. Everyone else has a better. It seems like they just have straight bourbon. This is deep. Yeah, and it's definitely there, but it, it's just an A beer, A plus beer. Uh, is it the best beer I've ever had, or one of the best? I don't know. I think it's excellent. Uh, <laughs> I would try after you're Jackie Hughes fan. My goodness. Uh, a plus beer, folks. We may do a claw review while I'm up getting a little buzz now. Watch Trout, but uh, let's say cheers again to Jackie O's, and we'll see you in a bit, folks. Bye.